welcome to this week's episode of Surviving Everyday Stress with or without IBS. I'm Dana Lynn Thompson and this is my co-host Baxter and it's a little chilly in Georgia tonight so we are wearing our matching hoodies. My husband asked me the other day why I don't keep him on for the entire show but honestly he will only sit still for the introduction so he's my co-host in the beginning and then he switches to his very comfortable couch off to the left where he resides for the rest of the show this week we're going to talk about the four must-have things that you need in your ibs toolkit two of these were recommended to me by my gastroenterologist and two of them come from my own personal experience of having IBS for the past six years. When I had my crazy IBS episode back in March of 2020, my gastroenterologist immediately recommended that I start with these two things. First, he told me that I needed to start taking a daily probiotic. Probiotics are live bacteria and yeasts that people can consume to support and help balance the natural bacteria in the body. Common sources include yogurt, fermented foods, and supplements. Gut flora imbalances may contribute to the symptoms of IBS. Probiotics help restore balance in a number of ways, including by inhibiting the growth of harmful bacteria, reducing inflammation, and slowing down the digestive system. I was able to do quite a bit of research online regarding what are the best probiotics and do they actually work for IBS. One of the best resources I've found for this is a website called healthline.com where they lay out all of the research that has been done for each of the specific IBS symptoms. While the research did show some promise, basically they just say that more research needs to be done. The bottom line is with IBS, it's all about experimentation. You need to find out what works best for you. Try something that has worked for somebody else. Stick with it for maybe four to six weeks. If it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't, check it off your list and maybe find something else that might work for you. That's really the whole point of this channel is that I really wanna share what works for me and then have other people try it out and hopefully it will work for them as well. I started taking a daily probiotic last year after my really bad IBS episode and I find that when I'm not taking them, I don't feel as well as I do when I am. So regardless of what the research says, if it works for me, I'm gonna continue to do it. My number two must have item in my IBS toolkit is something that my gastroenterologist also recommended. And I used to think that this was for old people, but he recommended just your basic Metamucil 401 fiber. I take a spoonful of this with water in the morning with my probiotic, and then I take another spoonful at night with some water before I go to bed. Funny enough, it also comes in these um, to-go packets. And if you can see here, it says on the go. So I'm not sure if that was pun intended, but I take these with me on vacation or when I have a pet sitting job. The third must have in my IBS toolkit is a symptom tracker. You would not believe how helpful this is when you go to your gastroenterologist or even if you're just trying to figure out what your IBS triggers are. Just find yourself a really nice notebook or you could even do it on your phone. I made columns in a notebook and on the left hand side I put down the date, I had the symptoms that I had that day, and the food that I had eaten as well as any stressful events that had happened during the day. This gave me a way to really track what the triggers were for my IBS, and this was really helpful in finding things that worked for me. The fourth thing in everyone's IBS toolkit that's a must have for me is support. Whether you find support with family or friends, or whether you find a support group online like the one here, where we can leave comments below and offer ideas, share our experiences, and just help support those who are going through IBS. I think that is so important, especially if your IBS is triggered by stress. It's really wonderful to have a support group, either at home or online, that can really help you to deal with those things. 
Next week, I'm going to talk about the two things that I cut out from my diet that have made the biggest difference in my IBS. Please subscribe to my channel so you'll know when new videos come out. They come out every Tuesday. And as always, if you can see my shirt, I remind you to adopt, don't shop, and I'll see you next week. Bye.